Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're a fan of Fallout 4, then you know how much mods can enhance your gaming experience. Today, we'll be introduced some of our must-have Fallout 4 mods that will take your gameplay to the next level. From better graphics to new quests and weapons, we've got you covered. And if you click the subscribe and like buttons once before watching the video, it will be of great help to the growth of the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first mod I will introduce to you is the AACQ Honey Badger Modern Warfare 2022. This mod adds a customizable Chimera from Modern Warfare 2022, which is depicted as the AACQ Honey Badger Hybrid. The mod features ported sounds, animations, and models in both first and third person views. In addition to the original weapon, the 2.0 update also includes an angled foregrip along with new animations and numerous blueprints. There are 12 new foregrips and 8 new blueprint weapons. To acquire the weapon, there are two ways, crafting or cheating. The weapon can be crafted at the chemistry station, or you can type help Chimera 4 in the console commands to get the ID and then use player add item to add the item to your inventory. It's important to note that due to changes made to Fallout 4 and the creation kit in the most recent update, this mod will only work properly in games patched to version 163 or higher. The mod creator has also planned a 2.5 update which will include the M13B or MCX and the BA P or MPX as blueprint weapons. Additionally, a camo package is also on the way. The mod creator encourages users to endorse the mod and as always enjoy it. The second mod I will introduce to you is Third Person Behavior Fixes. The Third Person Behavior Fixes mod for Fallout 4 is designed to address several glitches and issues related to the game's third person behavior. One of the most frustrating glitches that this mod fixes is the reload animation restarting when you sneak and move or sprint. This can be a major announcement when you're trying to move quickly through a level and need to reload your weapon at the same time. Another issue that the third person behavior fixes mod addresses is the fact that the speed mult doesn't get applied to sprint speed in third person. This means that when you're sprinting in third person, your character doesn't move as quickly as they should. This can make it difficult to escape from danger or keep up with other players in multiplayer games. Finally, the mod also fixes the FOV effect in sprint. This can be another major annoyance for players who are trying to move quickly through a level, as the FOV effect can make it difficult to see what's in front of you. Therefore, if you've ever been frustrated by glitches or issues with the third-person behavior in Fallout 4, the third-person behavior fixes mod is definitely worth checking out. It fixes a variety of issues and adds some customization options to make the game even more enjoyable. The third mod I will introduce to you is SKS Redux. SKS Redux is a high-quality mod that enhances the SKS rifle in Fallout 4. The mod includes custom textures and animations, as well as over 100 different realistic or unique variants of the weapon, each with endless customization options. The mod also features 5 custom NPCs, 6 collectible magazines, and a new mini dungeon with secrets and easter eggs to discover. The mod includes 4 custom load screens and a vast amount of real-world variants, as well as some horrific modifications that people have made to their SKS rifles. There are also 1.7GB of HD textures included, with 2K textures to be uploaded later. Players can find 5 new magazines hidden around the Commonwealth that will allow them to build special SKS variants. Additionally, some Diamond City Guards carry custom variant SKS rifles, and two Raider bosses have their own custom variants. The Nordhagen Beach shipping containers have been updated and rebalanced, requiring players to repair the SKS before it can be used. The mod also includes a small cave with a secret inside, but it may be difficult to find. The SKS has been scripted to appear in the Commonwealth's leveled lists, starting at level 15 with weaker variants. Overall, 
SKS Redix is a comprehensive mod that adds a wealth of content and customization options for the SKS rifle in Fallout 4. The fourth mod I'm going to introduce to you is Roleplayer's Expanded Dialogue. Roleplayer's Expanded Dialogue is a mod for Fallout 4 that adds over 200 new dialogue options to the game, providing players with more roleplaying really possibilities. With the help of the extended dialogue right. interface, this mod aims to give more. players the option to pick dialogue no, lines that fit their character the most. The mod also bypasses vanilla dead. speech checks and replaces them you with new speech, me. skill checks that I'm are guaranteed to succeed if you have the required perk or if your special me. stats are high Where enough. Additionally, new speech checks and dialogue okay. options I'm automatically done. show up I'm in dialogue trees trouble. once you meet the requirements. And low intelligence dialogue options will automatically replace vanilla dialogue if your character's int is lower than 4. The mod is compatible with most other mods, including Start Me Up Redix, The Dance Dilemma, and Subversion, among others, and should theoretically work with everything else. However, it does require XDI and does not have voice files for the new player dialogue lines, meaning your character will be silent when you choose any of the new dialogue options. The fifth mod I'm going to introduce to you is Vault Girl Perk Gunfu. Vault Girl Perk Gunfu is a Fallout 4 mod that replaces the standard Gunfu Perk SWF file with a custom colored Vault Girl version. The artwork used in this mod is based on Shadman's Vault Meat, which the mod creator has edited and animated to fit seamlessly into Fallout 4 SWF files. The mod is designed to be a simple interface replacer for perk clip underscore 4d881.swf, and will only be visible on the Pip-Boy interface. To ensure the best quality of the mod, the mod creator recommends using a mod like Nistran HD color system for Pip-Boy power armor and terminals, setting the Pip-Boy HUD on white HD, and making sure that the HUD settings color is set to white in the Fallout 4 settings tab. In summary, Vault Girl Perk Gunfu is a Fallout 4 mod that replaces the Gunfu Perk SWF file with a custom colored Vault Girl version. The mod is a simple interface replacer for the Pip Boy interface and is designed to improve the visual aesthetic of the game. The sixth mod I'm going to introduce to you is the Chuck U. Farley Collection Log Building Set. The Chuck U. Farley Collection Log Building Set mod is an expansion to the existing Chuck U. Farley Collection mod that adds a new building set for players to use in their Fallout 4 game. This log building set is designed to look like timber frame and log building components, with all the same pieces and parts as the steel building set that was included in the original mod. One of the major features of this mod is the inclusion of working fireplaces in three different varieties, each with detachable chimney caps that can be used with chimney extensions. These fireplaces can be snapped at the outside edge of both foundation and floor segments found in the log building set menu, and the chimney caps are spawned in when the fireplaces are constructed. The mod also includes two different roof configurations, a short version and a tall version. All posts, beams, and various other parts for use in conjunction with the short roof are labeled as Type A, while all parts for use with the tall roof are labeled as Type B. Wall skirts, fireplaces, and any other stone textured objects labeled as Type A, Type B, or Type C have no association with roof construction. Other features of the mod include fireplace extension pieces to extend the stone facade of lower fireplaces into the ground when foundations are placed at a height that leaves a gap between a fireplace and ground, and light fixtures that work in conjunction with the electrical power switch box found in the U Farley Collection, Power, Switches menu. Players should be aware that deck floors and deck porch floors will require some adjustment as they are prone to snapping to wall skirts as well as foundations. Additionally, duplicate fixtures not requiring snap points can be found under the U Farley Collection, Power, Lights menu. In case players want to uninstall only the log building set, the mod also includes an uninstaller chem for the additional menu elements added by this mod. This mod takes the Commonwealth built environment to the next level. More nature-friendly wooden buildings and buildings with immersive bricks will make you more interested in and immersed in Fallout 4 architecture. The seventh mod to introduce is Let Your Hair Down for Fallout 4. This mod allows you to set a hairstyle for relaxing and one for adventuring via the mod configuration menu and looks menu. 
You can choose any hairstyle that is supported by the game, and the mod also includes an auto hairstyle changer that can toggle between your chosen hairstyles. In addition to the auto hairstyle changer, you can also manually change your hairstyle using a hotkey in the MCM. If you prefer to keep your hair down when you're in settlements or cities, you can use the force hair down feature, which ensures that your character's hair remains in a long hairstyle while you're in those areas. Overall, the Let Your Hair Down mod provides more flexibility and customization options for your character's appearance in Fallout 4, allowing you to have different hairstyles for different situations and preferences. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found some new must-have mods to try out in Fallout 4. Let us know in the comments if you have any other favorites that we missed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content. See you next time.